Welcome to a new series. This is called Three Song Pile Up. I take three random songs, listen to them, and then I review them. But here's the interesting thing. For the first time, I'm taking songs from Billboard's Top 100. These are Billboard's Top 100 Best Songs that are currently the most popular around the world. When I first saw the title, I said, oh great, Black Beatles, maybe they're going to pay a tribute to the Beatles, you know, one of the great rock bands of the 60s and on. Sadly, that's not the case. Either that or I'm giving these, these kids way too much credit. Haters mad for whatever reason. Uh oh, they got that line about the haters. Here we go. What else you got for us, guys? Smoke in the air, binge drink. Uh oh, two for one. Smoke in the air. Let's see, that's probably gonna be implying we and binge drinking. They lose it when the DJ drops the knee. Oh dear. This is more severe than what I thought. Um, so yes, this confirms my suspicion. This was a typical rap song. Uh, more typical trap song. Whatever you want to call it, it's the same damn thing, like I said. It's the same set of lyrics over the same set of beats. It's because you call it a different name, it doesn't mean anything. I don't know, trap's more electronic, I guess. I'm not sure how that works. I don't listen to a lot of trap music, because I don't like trap music. But the point is that they've already made a song that sounds exactly like this. It was called Look Alive. Yeah, and I'm sure you figured it out by now. It sounds the same. Look Alive and Black Beatles. They both sound the fucking same. My problem is that they're on the same album. How do you rip yourself off that blatantly? I don't have a problem with them both being party songs. It's the fact that they're both party songs is thinking about the same same thing. Hence why I think they're similar. Like, completely similar. Even listening to the intro, it sounds similar to Black Beatles. Same year, same album. You wrote the song twice. No, be quiet. We're finished here. Next song. No. No. That that can't be. That this this is the same one, right? These are the same guys, right? Responsible for this. I kept on seeing him look at me while he's with that other girl. Do you think he was just doing that to make me jealous? Because he was totally texting me all night last night and I don't know it's a booty call. It was pure insipid trash. Nope. I'm not about to sit through it. I'm picking another artist. You know, it is the month of Christmas, and it's, this is about giving instead of receiving. It's about being nice. So, you know what? <sighs> One or two lines, maybe three. Before I met you. Oh, okay. I'm feeling the beat. It's not bad. I drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Uh, I mean, all right, I'm with that. I mean, the first step is acknowledging that you have a problem. I understand that. See, it's way better than the other song we literally just got done with, which seemed to be glorifying that kind of lifestyle of chugging down a lot of drinks, you know. But. He's okay with it, even though there's a problem with it. I'm sure that means he's gonna get help soon. Hey, you tell your friends it was nice to meet them. Alright, motherfucker, I hear you. He's being a gentleman. He's saying it was nice to meet your friends. You know, it, it, that's something, that's a usual change from all the other assholes that I meet on this fucking thing that I'm doing. He's a gentleman. I understand that. We all need to understand that, because sometimes. Hey. Say something mean already. But, Master, no, I, I actually like the song. Oh. But I hope I never see them again. Uh, okay, that's a dick move, I guess. That was half assed and you know it. 
I mean, what do you want from me? The song isn't all that bad, even though if it is from the Chainsmokers. If one hears to show how bad these songs are, not praise them. And I'll do that, alright? Just let me find the last song. It's number three, okay? The last song. Do not disappoint me, Max. I chose you for a reason. Get, yes, sir. I, I get that. I understand. Oh, okay, hey, here, Justin Bieber's song. Maybe this will be hate worthy. Ah, oh, fuck off. I actually like DJ Snake. Well, the beat's out of the question. I'm probably gonna really like it by default. Even his stupidest songs, like Turn Down for What, have just this earwormy in your brain digging into your skull. It makes you like it. Oh, God. But the lyrics is what I'm here for. I used to believe. We were burning on the edge of something beautiful, something beautiful. Phew. <laughs> Thought I should put him on that one. Thought I'd actually have to say something good about the lyrics. See, the thing about DJ Snake is he has good beats. And most of the songs he's on have decent lyrics. But you know, <laughs> since Justin is on the prowl here with the lyrics, I don't have to worry about much. Basically what I'm saying is you don't have to worry about a single thing. The lyrics aren't going to be that original at all. They go through the darkest of days, having to heartbreak away. Yay! See what I told you? Nonsensical comparing love to basically everything. It's all metaphorical bullshit. I can literally pick any piece of lyric from this song and out of context and it would absolutely mean the same thing. All the lyrics are written the same. That's how his songs go. <laughs> See what I tell you? Hey, home, oh, blend in. You can take literally any piece of lyric and just, out of context, just shove it anywhere. Don't you give up? Nah, nah, nah. I won't give up. Nah, nah, nah. Let me love you. Let me love you. <laughs> there it is. Again, taken out of context, because there is no context to save in a song. Justin Bieber writes the same song all the time. The only difference is that we got this slick as fuck DJ Snake beat in the background. It's the only saving grace. Other than that, this is just another one of Justin's typical love songs. Well, no, not love. Loved songs, because he's just reeks of desperation here. Please take me back. Don't give up on us. There wasn't any us. There, well, at least there's no us anymore. That's the reason why you're singing the song, right? Because there's no us anymore. So, go ahead. Keep bellowing, I guess. But other than that, I'm just going to listen to the instrumentals. Thank you. Let me love you. 